Hey there and happy Tuesday. So hold on, I'm going to adjust my light here. I've been crafting away and sometimes then I need to adjust it when I come on here so that you don't get quite the glare with my glasses. So um, yeah, it's been a busy, crazy day and um, yet I've loved every second of it because um, the retiring list posted last week, but yet the sale started today. And so I'm also very excited to be able to um, kind of kick off the sale today with um, uh, Sue Bay's virtual um, host party and um, this is card number one for Sue. So um, the reason I'm excited about it is a sale is always a great time to go, hey, does anybody need anything? And then I try and focus on things that might be retiring that you might go, oh, I need to see that as a last minute um, idea for, you know, something that maybe hasn't caught my eye before and things like that too. So um so I just thought, let me try and pull in some of those uh, products um, as well as try and find cards that are totally Sue as well. So I hope that that is um, fun for you guys as well. I'm going to see if I can um, get into my Facebook page here. I hate wasting time on that. And I was actually a couple minutes late because it's been such a busy day, but um, it's been busy and fun with um, helping you guys place orders and just checking on things to make sure if they're still in or not. Some things have already sold out today because of the retiring and sale and everything too. So I see that I'm caught up here. So let me get my camera turned around so that you can see Sue's first card um, front and center a little bit better. Alrighty. Okay, and then another reason too is just before I went live, I went, hey, I forgot to write down Sue's host code since the last um, video series I did with the last hostess. And I'm like, you know what? Usually it's about this point um, when I turn around my camera that I go, hey, um, I forgot to put that. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather be a minute late and have everybody see Sue's special host code there to know kind of what's going on and get that connection. Hi there, Lois. Hi, Deb. Hi, Diane. Hi, Jody. And hopefully, Sue and Faith is on here too. Lots of you. And I know I'm a little bit later, but then sometimes it's kind of fun because I'm a night owl to catch some of you that I normally don't, um, see online at different times of the day too. So Sue and her friends love to go to wineries that I do know. Um, and so I thought, oh, let's uh, like try and kind of incorporate that besides it being Sue's. Um, Sue just celebrated her 50th birthday. She's going to um, like celebrate for a while and she's calling it her 50 licious birthday. So I'm so happy to be a part of this. Like the stamp party is part of her birthday celebration, everything. She's had this plan for months. So let me get started kind of with where the these um, products are found. Um, so the Brood for You bundle has um, lots of uh, neat um, beverage choices. So you've got like your pint of ale, your um, beer mug, glasses, wine, and just really cute sentiments to go with that too. So yeah, Sue's on here for sure. Yay. And so then um, the brood dyes um, coordinate with that just lovely here. Um, so you've got lots of choices for that too. Um, so you've kind of got your little hops and different um, things like that too, even like a different couple types of foams for your mugs and glasses, which is kind of cute too. I'm going to be using the wine glasses, that part of it um, tonight. But where that is found is in the annual catalog. And surprisingly enough, out of all the products I'm using tonight, um, the annual catalog products and the mini catalog products have been a hot item that are retiring. This one's not retiring, but I just thought I'm going to use it because it fits Sue so well. Um, <laughs> and I don't mean that in a negative way, like, oh, you should see what Sue does on her spare time all the time. No, um, this is how she likes to have fun and celebrate. So um, so with that, that's on page 83 of the annual catalog. And um and then as I use different products tonight, I'm going to highlight which ones are retiring and if I can um, figure out if they are on sale or remember, because there's just a lot to process. Um, I don't know if I've ever had two catalogs retire at the same time. And once I realized that, then I went, this is why it feels a little bit crazier than normal, just, you know, to process all of that. Um, for the inside, in case I forget to tell you, I'm going to be use, using Celebrating You. Um, and this one is retiring. I love it because it's got so many great um, sentiments for so many different occasions. Um, like Happy Easter. Some of you have said, um, I really don't um, 
maybe need an Easter, you know, stamp set specific to Easter, but it's stamp sets like this where you have all these different sentiments where it's like, oh, I could pull together some things um, from different sets and make it, you know, complete with the Easter thing. And this one has Happy Father's Day, Happy Mother's Day, which I was looking for just the other day. Like, do I have any current sets, sets that have that? This one, even though it's retiring, it's not on sale, but I like to let you know that that's what I'll be using for the inside sentiment. Um, so to start my card, I think what I'm going to do is um, start with my cut, cutting and embossing for you guys. So with that, um, here we go. I was like, <laughs> it's like I said, it's been a crazy mess. Last night I um, held a um, community ed class and had a great time. But today, um, um, sometimes like I just feel like stamping up hungover as far as like all the fun from last night kind of like uh, just wore me out into today. But it was a good, good fun. So that's always a good thing. All right. So I've got my brick embossing folder here. I'm going to see if I have the the cover for that sometimes I like to show here it is um, the actual cover like I still have I was looking for all of my basics like um my different cutting pads everything from last night too I brought a lot of supplies and so then it's like where is everything tonight so if I seem a little out of sorts it's just because I've been pulled a million uh directions but loved every direction I was going in at the time right <laughs> hi Lori hi Joyce hi Shelly so the brick and mortar 3d embossing folder is what I'm going to use tonight that is retiring and if I if I remember right I think it's like on a uh, maybe a 10% sale so like um, um, $9 instead of $10 put it that way um, and what I like about the brick embossing folder is if you have like today my cards going this way say my card was going this way well then I could put my card stock going up and down that way for my brick wall but um, with the six by six, then I have two options. Um, obviously, if I had the, the skinny, like regular style folder, then I'd be out of luck to make my bricks go this way because I'd run out of room. So having it be six by six is really nice for this. So um, being this is a 3D embossing folder, I'm going to put um, that in between my basic um, pad here and the specialty plate number four to get that rolling through like so and I love the 3d embossing folders because it gives it such nice deep grooves and the fun thing about this is the um, different bricks have different um, heights too as it does the embossing on there so this is a good one it's been a great seller people have loved this so in case you're wondering like do I need that you might go I think so I think so <laughs> all right I'm gonna switch up my plates here and then do some cutting and for my cutting I have these wine glasses and then the inside has like little bubbles on there and everything too so um, I'm going to just lay this here and this here and cut that through and the cardstock colors I'm using for this are um, Sahara sand and Mary Merlot. I kind of felt like the Mary Merlot was like a no-brainer because um, it's going to be wine. So I'm going to just flip that. This is just an extra little chunk that cuts off. I don't know, maybe um, if I use it a few more times or somebody will say, hey, there's a purpose or reason for that, um, then, or if you know, please tell me, like um, type it in the comments here so that I know what that's for. And then I'm going to be needing um, two sets of this um, because that's what my card has. So hi there, Donna. Hi, Renee. So let me just quickly cut that through and then we'll be done cutting and embossing. I'm going to show you kind of a close up of the inside here. All right, so you can kind of see those little bubbles on there. I think that just adds so much. I love it when Stampin' Up! thinks out those details and adds little fun things like that. Okay, so we've got this, and um, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling. And I love um, the Sahara Sand color. It is retiring, that I do know. Um, and so it just makes such a nice like background base for cards for so many different color combinations too. Um, so this I cut five and a quarter by four inches. I'm just gonna get some adhesive on that all the way across the edges and I'll be ready to place that down. 
on the Sahara sand and it's opening this way like I mentioned before today. Um, hi there Maureen, good to have you on here. And then before I kind of do the next layer, I kind of want to start with um, these two pieces here. And I hope the camera kind of picks this up. Um, I'm going to kind of move it around because this is actually um, part of this package here. And I always like to show you the back in case you don't understand me on camera. This is the brush stroke. 12 by 12 specialty paper, and this is retiring too. Normally it's $5. I'm pretty positive it's two and a half. Um, I used it um, on other projects that I've shown you before. I think with the pink here, um, and there's Night of Navy too, so Soft Succulent, um, and then the um, Blushing Bride, and then the Night of Navy, but you can see that brush stroke in there. So I use this a lot for like wedding and specialty cards last year when it first came out in the annual catalog for those specialty occasions because it's just so pretty for that. So I just cut a little uh, three by four inch piece here. Hi there, Andy. Good to have you on here. And then Sue says, I think the small piece might be for a glass. That is about empty. Oh, that's a great idea, Sue. Hi there, Kirsten. So I might have to try and do that too. Um, Cause I think I, I wonder if I just tossed it in my scraps. Here it is. Now, sometimes when I'm on with you guys, I like to, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, unless you want it to be filled up, something like that. Sometimes I like to play around with pieces while you're on too. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to play around with that. So, or I might have to look on Pinterest. Sometimes I see all sorts of fun stuff there too. But um, just kind of an interesting thing that it just cuts right off like that. All right, so I put the three by four on a piece of soft succulent, cut then three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, so I've got that. And then um, this piece is going to get popped up. So before I did that, I was like, hey, um, maybe I should put some ribbon on. I haven't used ribbon in a while. I love using ribbon on my cards. And the soft succulent and evening evergreen have this open weave ribbon that's retiring because these colors itself are retiring and um, pretty sad about that. And I think both of these would look so pretty on the card because that would match the lighter green color. This would match the darker green color. And then I went, you know what? Let's get something like fun and shiny going. So... I got out just a sliver of this, but this also comes from the retiring package here. Let me pull this out. The fine shimmer paper, and this is just so pretty. You can see it's got a lot of glitz and glimmer to it. Um, so this comes in soft succulent, and in the same package is the fresh freesia, which I wanted to do like Easter eggs um, for some uh kind of project uh, for you guys but then with Easter coming up so close maybe it's just going to be for my grandkids instead of to send out to my friends because um, then I don't have to worry about mail time because my grandkids live across the road <laughs> I can hand deliver that and then it's got kind of this pretty pretty shimmer gold so this is on sale too as well um, and I think that one's like a 20% savings um, for these sheets too. And there are, because you guys like to know this too, um, six uh, sheets in here. So there's two of each color. So I feel like I'm going a little bit more into detail um, tonight with different things. But like I said, with things being on sale and closing out, I kind of want to be prepared with that information for you guys as well. Hi there, Chris. So I cut this about an inch by four inches. And that I can just apply here um, on the back with adhesive. And I think every time I use this in a class, people say, is this sticker paper? Because it looks so fun and shiny on one side. And then the other side almost feels like it should be like sticker paper that you should be able to peel off. That's just the way it looks. But you will have to put like regular adhesive on there. So there's that. And now I'm going to put um, this on by popping some dimensionals to pop it up. Here, I'm going to put like one in each corner. And this card really isn't too hard to put together. Like I said, I'm just talking more because there's so much to talk about. <laughs> All right, so I have this kind of as my backdrop here. Now it's looking really pretty. I love the shimmer shine here of the soft succulent and then the brush stroke pattern together. And besides, these colors have always been like a favorite for so many, especially together, um, soft succulent evening evergreen. All right, so now it's time to take the insides of the Mary Merlot 
Mary Merlot, like Mary Merlot color, Mary Merlot wine. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little adhesive behind there. And then look, we've got those wine glasses all ready to go. And like I said, you can see the little bubbles, I hope, too, on camera. And then before I put them on, I want to um, get my sentiment um, going on my card so that I know that I've allowed enough space. So I'm going to use my Mary Merlot ink pad for that. And the sentiment is from The Brood For You. I'm just going to ink that up here that says another round for your birthday. So that's kind of fun. I love the cursive and the regular print on there. That's a fun font. And then what I'm going to do is bring it over to my trimmer or bring my trimmer over to this here and just trim that down a little bit. And this has been stamped on Sahara sand. And my goal is kind of to get it um, maybe around like three-fourths inches of a strip in case you like to kind of know measurements for making your own and that's what I'm always hoping that you do is get some inspiration to maybe make your own card and then I have this strip that is soft succulent and that is a one inch strip here so then I'll just mat that onto there and then by eyeing it I can just take my scissor here and then cut so I usually kind of aim for like a quarter inch matting of that. So I've got that and then this piece also I'm going to pop up. So I'm gonna put three dimensionals on this so we get a nice good lift. And now that's gonna go up in the corner kind of here. So it's gonna be flush kind of with that soft succulent edge, but then have a little gap at the top there too. And then I'm gonna flip over the glasses here and then put a couple dimensionals on each of the tops here, like so. And then I love the mini dimensionals for projects like this. I don't want it to look floppy on the bottom. So I'm gonna come in with these tiny little Barbie sized, I always call them Barbie sized <laughs> dimensionals versus um, the human sized um, regular dimension here. And then for that, I am going to just kind of tip them towards each other a little bit and kind of off to the side. So it kind of looks like they're toasting in cheers. So that kind of finishes it. Um, and because of the fun, um, like glimmery paper and the brush stroke has a nice shimmer shine to that too, more subtle. Um, I wanted to go with something like a little bit shiny for embellishments. Um, these, of course, because they're in colors that are retiring, these embellishments are retiring as well. And I think they're on sale, maybe like 20% off as well. Um, so there's a sale on these. Um, so it has... There's only a couple left of my pale papaya and a couple left of my purples, but I've got my pinks and my greens left. Um, so I'm just going to take um, for this one um, some of the Evening Evergreen. I'm going to take, a, actually, my sample has Evening Evergreen, so I'm going to show you what the soft succulent looks like because even though it's soft succulent on top of soft succulent, it's going to look really pretty and still show up nice. So I'm going to put a couple large ones to kind of anchor down that corner and then just um, one small one off to the side here. So it kind of almost adds to the feeling of the bubblies that is in the glass there as well. So kind of a fun addition there. And then to see the difference, I use the evening evergreen here, soft succulent. So it kind of does change up um, the look of the card a little bit too. Too, but I like the looks of both of those. And then for the inside, like I said, I'm going to go with that stamp set celebrating you. And um, I try to find, see, this is what's kind of interesting about this. I love the stamp set, but there's not um, like a, just a plain happy birthday. And so I, I feel like I've made these often for birthday cards. So that's why I kind of went a different direction for the inside sentiment. So when I pulled out Celebrating You and saw the font of kind of the cursive and the printing, then I went grateful to celebrate you every day. It just matched. The font looks so perfect there. And then this has some printing and some cursive there. So I thought the two just looked like so well together. You'd almost think that they were from the same stamp set. So I'm just going to ink that up in Mary Merlot. Grateful to celebrate you every day. And then 
I can get some ink on there. Move that out of the way so I don't accidentally get ink on my card or on Sue's card so uh, that it stays looking nice. All right, there's a little bit of a edge piece there. There, got that off. All right, so there we have card number one for Sue Bay's virtual party and her host code here. So um, that was so fun to put together. Um, even though it got later today, I was like, you know what? This is still going to be really fun to take the time to kick this off. And then her next two uh, card demos are going to be a little bit earlier um, in the day, um, both tomorrow and Thursday so that I'll uh, get in all three of our card demos yet this week for you guys. Um, thanks so much, Pam. It was a lot of fun to put together. And like I said, so the Brood For You bundle is not retiring and yet a lot of the products that I'm using with it and colors that I'm using with it are. So keep that in mind, but always reach out to me if you have questions about different things like, is it on sale? Is it retiring? Is it sticking around? And, and that's what I am here for. So how you can get the three cards that I'm making for Sue's virtual party is just um, order using her um, host code there. Minimum $25 orders will get all three three of the cards that I'm making for her party sent out to you as a thank you from her and I. So that'll make it fun uh, to keep going and getting those cards sent out to you guys. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Uh, take care and have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye.